happening guys? Welcome back to another video. So, coming at you from a different angle today, I'm actually in the study, the office. So, a little bit of a different scenery, why not mix things up a bit. You're a teenager, you're just thinking about starting off at the gym, but you don't know where to start. You're really skinny and you're struggling to put on size. In this video, I'm going to explain to you my top tips on how I overcame this problem and how I've helped loads of people overcome it. So make sure you stick around to watch it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're on you, let's get into it. So my number one tip is you need to be lifting weights, whether it's three times a week, four times a week, five times a week, six times a week, you need to be at least hitting some form of weights because you need to put the strain on the muscle, you need to tear it, stretch it, and it needs to repair and every time you do that, it's going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So make sure you're hitting weights, if you're doing it three times, hit full body workouts every time, four times upper lower splits, all the details can be found on my website, just click the link below in the description, it'll take you straight there, but six times a week is usually push pull legs, what I'd recommend, I've currently got a free plan which is on my website so you can download that straight away, it consists of six days a week but you can just turn it down to five if you want and it's got so much information in there, it's all free. All you have to do is just enter an email address. It'll be sent straight to your email, download it, and then you can crack on and start making some gains and, and stop being skinny because it's not good being skinny, is it? It's, it's just not good for your mind. It's not good for your confidence. And especially if you're like 16, 17 years old, you mainly the main reason you're doing it is to get a chick, so to look good in it, to look good when you're going out, seeing all these girls. So trust me. Download the plan, it's really going to help you. Tip, if you want to put on some muscle, put on some size, is you have to eat enough food. I see all these people, they go into the gym three, four, five times a week, like kids in my gym, but for months and months, they don't seem to be making any progress at all, and all that can be down to is their diet. They're not eating enough. So what I'd recommend is sticking to one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Say if you're 150 pounds, 150 grams of protein per day, if you can't reach that from foods, have a shake. It's not like a necessity to have a protein shake, but if you can't hit it, have one of them. And then the rest of the foods need to be carbs and fats. Keep your fats to a minimum because you don't want to be eating too many bad foods. But if you're struggling to get calories in, just eat whatever. Because you're a guy, right? You're one of the people who is going to struggle to gain weight. So you're not going to put on fat even if you eat in like not great foods, just keep it clean as much as you can, so 70 to 80%. Then if you're if you stuck for food at the end of the night, just get a chocolate bar, go and get a Snickers or get some popcorn, get a bag of crisps. Just add them calories up because at the end of the day, the most important thing to put on size and muscle mass is the amount of calories you're having. It's scientifically proven, so make sure you're getting that food in. So, say if your maintenance calories is 2,500, this is the amount of calories needed for you just to stay the same weight. It's the average male's like daily recommended intake, but let's just take it for an example, right? If you're then eating 28 to 3,000 calories a day, 2,800 to 3,000 calories a day, you are going to put on weight over time and you're going to put on muscle. Because you're not like fully, fully going over the top, you're not having like four or 5,000 calories a day, it's going to be slow and steady but you're not going to gain much fat which is the way i'd recommend doing it because when i started right i was i was kind of skinny fat so i was quite big but i had fat on me and i didn't have any muscle so i had quite a naturally big frame but no muscle and carried quite a bit of fat what i did i just ate anything in sight i was hitting my protein and literally I'd have whatever I wanted and the only bad thing about that was I'd gained a lot of excess fat which I didn't want and obviously you don't want if you're trying to impress the girls do you because it's not good so to get that aesthetic lean look just eating a 300 to 500 calorie surplus for a sustained period of time and in that first year you're going to see so much progress it's unreal trust me so you're hitting the gym three to five times a week you're hitting weights you're eating in a caloric surplus between three and 500 calories every day consistently and you're still not seeing progress. The third tip is something called progressive overload. So it's something that you might not have been doing, 
which to cause the muscles to grow. So progressive overload is basically a term that means you're increasing the weight over time. So say if you're benching 60 kilograms, a flat bench for 10 reps, right? And you just keep that same weight for like six months to a year. You're not really going to see much chest growth because you're keeping the same weight. You're not make, you're not like forcing the body to change. If you want muscle, you need to like give it a reason to grow and change because it's really stubborn. Like it's not a normal thing for your body to have muscle. It's not like natural or anything. So you need to really force it to grow. Say if you're hitting 60 kilograms for 10 reps, then you up it to 12 reps the week after, and then you put 65 kilograms on the bar, you get eight reps. And, you, and then you're getting 10 reps with 65 kilogram the week after. And then you're getting 12 reps with 65 kilogram. Then you up it to 70 kilogram, you're getting eight reps. That's pro progressive overload. So you just gotta keep on building. And yeah, it's, you're not, at first you can make massive strength gains. In that first year, you can make crazy beginner newbie gains if you're doing it right. It's something I didn't really capitalize on newbie gains because I was already skinny fat and I gained so much strength, but I just put on too much fat as well. So if my diet would have been bang on, trust me, in that first year, I would have been looking insane. But you can't, you can't think of the past. This is why I'm trying to pass on my knowledge to you guys now, so you don't make the same mistakes as me. Do you know what I mean? So the third tip is progressive overload. Make sure you're increasing the weight on squat, deadlift, bench, shoulder press, all the heavy movements. If you're doing bicep curls, you don't necessarily need to track it as much because it's it's not as important, just the heavy lifts, incline bench, bench press, dumbbells, shoulder press, uh, bent over rows, lat pull downs, pull ups with weights, they're always good as well. So that's the third tip. Fourth and final tip I'm gonna give you guys, which in my opinion is the most important out of all of them. It might not seem it, but trust me, it actually is. It's patience. So many people come up to me and say, how, how long is it gonna take me to get your body? How long is it going to take me to transform my body to look similar to you? First of all, you're not going to look like me. I'm me. I'm Josh Sullivan. You're not going to look like me. Like, I'm different. You're going to look like whoever you are, but the, as best as you can be. So everybody's got different genetics, different muscle insertions, different body fat, different, like, bone structure, different everything. Not everybody's the same, which is so good. And... Basically, patience is a virtue. You've probably heard that saying before, but if you're not patient, then getting good results is not for you because it's going to take a lot of time, a lot of hard work, and a lot of like dedication. The reason why, I, why I've been able to stick at it for like four plus years is because I literally fell in love with it. Like I love going into the gym every day, nearly every day, for like that hour, hour and a half, and just putting my headphones on and just lifting some weights and just trying to get stronger every day. Like, it's probably my favourite part of the day, what I look forward to the most. Yeah, you're going to have bad days, everybody has bad days, but when, you, when you, you're on a streak and you're having good workouts, there's no feeling better than that. Honestly, there's not a feeling in the world better than that. It's so good. So, you've got to fall in love with it, you've got to be patient, and the results will come. They will come, and once they do start to come, you'll start enjoying it so much more because it's been worth your hard work and time. So, I hope these tips have really helped you out, guys. Just to quickly recap, we've got you need to be hitting weights three to six times a week. Second tip is you need to be eating in a caloric surplus. It's so important, trust me. And the third tip, progressive overload, so increasing the way you're lifting over time, whether it be on bench press, squats, deadlifts, all the main lifts. And the fourth and most important one, be patient. It's gonna take time, so you've gotta just be patient. You've gotta be in it for the long run. There's no secret pill, like I keep saying, there's no quick fix. You just gotta be in it for the big run. And if you're a hard gainer and you're skinny, just start eating there. Just start eating a lot of food and you're gonna put on results. You can always cut the body fat after. So just always bear that in mind. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, give it a like, share it to a friend who needs to get some gains and is looking to start the gym. Subscribe if you are new. 
I'm out. Catch you on the next one. See you later, guys. Cap and a stem, catch a wave on a swish Take a shot, make a friend, just enjoy the moment I'm Luke Skywalking on It's just my dessert and These haters, splish Celebrate every day like a birthday